process is the artificial cornea, in which means when we are not able to uh, put a cornea transplant into the eye, then we have to do a, a artificial transplant, and this is the artificial transplant that replaces the corneal transplant. Uh, the uh, keratoprosthesis is, is 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 indicated for for patients that had multiple failures after uh, corneal transplantation. Usually they may have like four or five corneal transplants before which they all failed and then we do the corneal uh, keratoprosthesis instead of doing a, a corneal transplantation which we know uh, will fail. So it may be really very useful for uh, patients who can be blind and will not be able to see and, and the only chance for them to see will be only uh, keratoprosthesis. In, in different uh, diseases it's possible to do this procedure in which include um, corneal problems with vascularizations such as like Stevens-Johnson syndrome or um, trauma, ocular trauma especially chemical burns. Other than that, some uh, congenital diseases and uh, especially some uh, for patients who have multiple failures after cornea transplantation, especially um, when the cornea is rejected after the transplantation, then the uh, keratoprosthesis is indicated. The success rate for the keratoprosthesis is around 60 to 70 percent. That's really very high. Especially with uh, there's a new technique that is called Keramet. Uh, it is uh, also uh, could be higher than that. With all the procedures, there are some difficulties. This is a very very unique procedure with uh, a lot of technical details. In some patients, we may need to do multiple surgeries. So uh, the surgeon should be should have a good uh, education. And, and training uh, about this uh, procedure. Uh, there is a also there are two different types of keratoprosthesis. One of them was a classical one. That's what we call as uh, Boston keratoprosthesis. And the second one is uh, a, a more recent one, in which we don't usually use any stitches or anything else uh, to implant the the, the prosthesis. So the, the, the procedure is variable and uh, different procedures can be done depending on the patient's situation. We usually implant this prosthesis inside of a cornea. So uh, they usually integrate well. Usually the patients are not uh, uh, needed to stay in the hospital for a long time maybe uh, just one day or maybe sometimes they don't need to stay in the hospital. Uh, the follow-up period is also very easy. Uh, they just need to come up for follow-ups for usually like uh, in the first three months every month and then afterwards every two months. Of course this will depend on the patient's situation. Uh, the follow-ups are very very important. There may, you may, the, the surgeon or the doctor may need to do some uh, additional procedures. Usually the number of you know, uh, additional procedures are, are really low, luckily, and uh, the results are really usually very good. Uh, there is also a new uh, keratoprosthesis which we call as Keramet is uh, also a very nice procedure uh, because we don't need to um, use general anesthesia with this procedure. We usually prefer um, a, a topical even we don't do any injection, just a drop, and with a, uh, with the help of a laser, we can implant this uh, artificial cornea in uh, probably 20 minutes. Of course, this will depend on the patient's situation. It is possible to treat different um, eye diseases together with uh, keratoprosthesis or artificial cornea transplantation, such as some retina problems, uh, cataract can be removed or your, uh, the glaucoma can be uh, uh, solved 
uh, by doing some additional procedures together with this procedure. And uh, usually uh, the success rate is very, very good. And the patients are usually asking if, it's, if uh, they can lose their uh, even any, any vision. Sometimes they just see the light, which we call as light perception. And they, they sometimes ask us if they are going to, they, or they have a high risk of losing this uh, light perception vision. It's usually extremely very rare to lose uh, any light perception. Of course, there's always a risk uh, in, in any procedure, but the risk is extremely low.